Well, hello, fellow travelers. Today we're going to talk about something that's not sexy, not fun, but extremely necessary, and that's travel medical insurance. Now, I know uh, healthcare is always a struggle and an issue, especially for some of you Americans, and even a few of you watching have very little medical coverage or even none at all. Here in Canada, we all get medical coverage, every damn one of us that are here legally. And uh, Canadians don't like paying for health care. But when I travel and I leave Canada, I have no health care at all. So, I carry lots of insurance. Now, I am retired from uh, the civil service, so I do have a bit of coverage from them around the world, but it's not enough, and it's capped at only a few hundred thousand dollars of coverage over my lifetime. So I'm going to tell you how cheap this was. I uh, always carry a 15-day policy, because when I cross the border, as many of you know, I live near the border. If I cross the border into Washington State and something happens, even if I'm there for 10 minutes, I have no medical coverage. So I don't even like to take a chance for 10 minutes when I'm buying gas in Blaine, Washington. So my 15-day policy that I had right now uh, is not going to be enough for me to, when I leave Canada in uh, a week or so. So I'm going to show you what I paid and I'm going to talk about the coverage and uh, encourage you to do the same. These policies are available to everybody to cover you outside of your state, outside of your country, wherever you're traveling. Whether you're coming to Canada or you're going to Thailand or you're going wherever, it doesn't matter. This is a global policy and it'll pay for a private jet and a nurse and a doctor to fly you home once you're stable. So I buy my insurance from BCAA. That is the British Columbia version of AAA. That's what you would uh, call it in the United States. And in here I have a couple policy cards. And um, if you notice, I've got 60 days of coverage. I can extend that anytime. The smart tip I can tell you to, to save money is when you buy these policies, you want to extend your coverage later in the term of the policy because you're going to save a lot of money because there's less days left in terms of coverage. So I assume the underwriters consider each day of equal risk and have more days have elapsed in your policy, there are less days of risk rendering the policy cheaper, but you can maximize your coverage. So, for example, when we look at this, the original policy here for 15 days, I paid $81. And, of course, I opted for a zero deductible because being Canadian, I don't even want to pay anything. So I paid an extra amount of money of $28 for a zero deductible policy. So all that's been converted to allow me to extend to 60 days. Now what I've done is I've converted this whole policy, which is, as you notice, $10 million of coverage, to a 60-day policy. Now the original amount that uh, I would have had to pay if I would have bought a 60-day policy in the beginning of the coverage would have been $169. That would be for two months of coverage. I already did pay an original premium of $114. I got some loyalty discounts and a membership discount, blah, blah, blah. But the difference for me to bring it to a two-month policy was $55.34. That's uh, Canadian money, so that what's that going to be, like maybe 40 bucks with uh, U.S. dollars? Cheap. For $10 million worth of coverage, $55 for $10 million worth of coverage globally, that is a small price to pay. And you too can buy these types of policies in your... AAA office anywhere in the United States to cover you whenever you're out of state and whenever you're out of the country. Now this also gives you benefits like um, if you are sick and you need to get your RV back to where you live it'll pay for that. If you are about to die it'll pay for people to fly and come and see you. Uh, it'll pay for a bunch of incidentals like that. The only thing it will not cover I've been told is that um, scuba diving certification uh, it will not cover you unless you are already certified from where you're from. So if you're going to do scuba training, this policy will not cover you if you are injured during that event. Uh, it'll also cover extreme sports. I said, what about uh, you know cave diving or 
base jumping. They said, oh yeah, no problem. Okay, great. I'm not going to do either of those things. Now, as far as I'm concerned, $55 is crazy cheap and brings me peace of mind wherever I happen to be in the world so that I will not bankrupt myself or even uh, better yet, stiff anybody, run up a big bill in a hospital, say in Los Angeles, and then suddenly I'm back to Canada and then I make you, the rest of you wonderful Americans, pay my bills because I won't pay them because I've run up a bill that I cannot afford to pay. I think insurance is the great equalizer and uh, they almost always pay out as long as you do not have a pre-existing condition that you did not tell them. So it's very important that you tell them about your pre-existing condition, all the medication that you happen to be on. And if you have a pre-existing condition but you or your doctor is not aware of it, it's not a pre-existing condition. You get what I'm saying? They can look at your medical files and decide if that was true or not. So don't lie on your application to try to save a few bucks on your premiums. Now, of course, the older you get, the higher your medical premiums are going to be because the risk goes up. Same with men pay a little bit more than women because men have uh, more medical problems at a younger age than women. Just makes sense. So what do you guys think about uh, travel medical insurance and how little I paid for a $10 million policy with a zero deductible? Because I think it was just a smart move on my part. So in the meantime, folks, stay safe, keep your wheels around, and I will see you on the road very soon.